All right, so this video we're going to look at uh, what if analysis in Excel, and in this particular video we're going to deal with the scenario, the scenario feature. Uh, so here we want to purchase a new car, and let's just say that we're looking at several different cars, and so we want to see all the scenarios. You know, we want to look at the monthly payment of the car okay Let's see which one you know might fit our budget the best <clears throat> so what we do is we have the cost of the car and we have a down payment <clears throat> and then the amount that we're going to finance and in in this one we have a formula it's the cost of the car minus the down payment so that's calculated using a formula and then the years that we were going to finance it, the number of years, and the interest rate of the car. And we also have the number of payments, which is also a formula. It's five years. There's 12 months in a year, so the 12 times the number of years gives us 60. And then we'll also kind of figure out, you know, how much it's going to cost for insurance you know how much our insurance is per month and then the monthly payment that's based on the payments of the car and then the total per month that would be the monthly payment uh, plus the hundred dollars for the insurance so it would be this cell here plus this cell here and this cell here is calculated using the payment function <clears throat> so the way that the way that you can do that and let's let's just go ahead and do that formula real quick. I'll show you how it's done. So I mean, I already have have it in here. So it's the rate. It's the interest rate per period for the loan. So the interest rate is in cell B7. That's the four percent. And then we have to divide that by twelve because it's monthly. Okay. If it was quarterly, you would divide it by four. Okay, and so on. And then the next one is the total number of payments for the loan. Well, that's this cell here. That's 60. So that would be B8. I'm sorry. Yeah, B8. And then the present value of the loan, that's the, uh, the total amount that a series of future payments is worth now. So that's how much we're financing, the 16000 in this case that would be cell B5 and then the, the future value is uh, is the future value or a cash balance you want to attain after the last payment is made uh, <clears throat> you know you leave that blank and then the type it, that's at the beginning of the period equals one and payment at the end of the period is zero you know depending on when your payments are uh, if you leave it blank, it calculates it at the end of the period. <clears throat> and then if we hit OK, well, in, in, in the formula that, that I have, notice I have this little minus here. If I take the negative off, okay, what it does is it gives you a negative value because it's a payment. See how it's red and it's in parentheses? Okay, so, so what you can do for the monthly payment to make it up, positive value you can just put a negative in front of the function and then hit enter and it changes it to a positive okay all right so now let's look at the the what if analysis all right so we go over here to the data tab and we want to go to the what if analysis let's see all right so so you can see that the what if analysis is not showing up and the reason it's not right now on my screen is because I have my window uh, I've got it smaller to uh, so you can see the video better but what I can do I'll come over here and you won't be able to see this because it's going to drag it it's going to be uh, it'll be when I drag it across it'll you won't be able to see it in my re recording area but if I drag it over if I'm if I make the screen normal you see how the what-if analysis pops up 
right here okay and you know it may look different on yours um, you know it may look like something like this or like this and but on on this this is what it looks like okay um, so but that's basically what you're looking for is the what if analysis all right so I want to use the scenario manager well what you want to do is you want to highlight the cells so I'll I'll just left click here and drag down and then hold the control key down and click the years financed the rate and the insurance per month those are the cells that can change okay so now I come over here and I click scenario manager oh, let me delete those okay and and when you pull it up it's gonna be, say no scenarios to find choose add to add some scenarios so let's do that so I hit add okay and then I need a scenario name so I don't know let's just call this a Corolla Oops. Corolla okay and the cells that I can change are these but you know right now let's just leave all this information and let's say this is the information that we're going to use for a Corolla and see it fills them in right here now the bad thing about this is notice how it labels these it labels them with what cell they're in okay well that's no good so you can either leave it like this and say okay B3 is cost of a car B4 that's the down payment you can do that but but let me show you something that would be better okay so what we can do here is we can we can right click and we can define name okay and notice what it does is see you can you can call it whatever it is this would be co the cost of a car okay so what Excel recognized is that I want to give this cell a name well it just automatically jumped over here to the left and called it cost of car but now remember if you if you name a cell you can't have any spaces in the name you have to put an underscore see how it does the underscore where the spaces would be and so you know just hit OK I mean it doesn't change this any but look at this see how this shows cell B4 that's cell B4 if I click in B3 it shows the name of that cell cost of a car okay so let's do the same thing for the rest of them define name and see how it does the down payment hit OK and then we'll hear hit here years financed define name years finance see Excel's automatically putting that in there for me and then let's do this one rate and then insurance per month and hit OK all right so now let's go and select these again so I drag down then I hold the control key down to click my other ones because the cells aren't touching and then I come over here to what if analysis scenario manager and now let's add okay and let's call this a Corolla okay all right so hit OK and the comments you can you can type whatever you can leave it like that you know whatever you want to do and so hit OK and now look at this now it has the names there and it's a little bit easier to do okay all right so there's the values and that's the values I want for the Corolla so I'm gonna hit OK and there it is there's Corolla all right so now let's say I look at another car and I don't know let's let's add another one so let's do maybe a Camry okay and hit OK all right so maybe maybe some of these things change so the cost of the car I don't know let's say I don't know I don't know how much they are but let's just change it to 22,000 uh, years finance let's say that's the same let's say I can I, let's say the interest rates different maybe 3.5 percent uh, and 
I don't know, maybe the insurance increases every month, say to $110. And then I hit OK. And so now there's the Camry. And I don't know, let's do one more. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's say maybe we're going to do a Honda Accord or something. And I have no idea how much they are. But, you know, let's just put something in there. Let's let's just say, I don't know, I'm sure, I don't know if they're this much or not, but I'm just going to put 25000 And let's say, let's say maybe my down payment, I've got 3000 for a down payment. And maybe I need to finance these for six years. Uh, let's keep it at 4%. And let's say the insurance is maybe 120 I hit OK. All right. So there you go. So you have all these scenarios here. Now what I can do is I can come up here and I can hit Scenario Manager. And let's say there's the Corolla. I can hit uh, show. Well, there's the information for the Corolla, the total per month, the monthly payment. And let's say I want to look at the Camry. So I click Camry. I hit show. Now watch these numbers here change. So I hit show. And there's the information of how much it would cost for a Camry. And then maybe an Accord. Let's, let's look at that. And there's the Accord. And you can see how the numbers change. Now, let's say I want to see a summary of all this. So let's hit the summary. All right. Now, you can do a scenario summary, a scenario pivot table report. Uh, I like the scenario summary the best. Uh, so, you know, whatever you want to do. And, you know, the cells that you're going to look at, you can look at just this cell, or you can highlight all of these. Okay, you can highlight both of them so it'll show you the monthly payment and the total per month. You know, which, let's just look at both of them. So if you want to look at both of them, you just select both of them and hit OK. And what it does is it creates a new sheet. Okay, and it has all the information here. Okay, it has the cost of the Corolla, the Camry, the Accord. And then, now look at this. You see what it did here? It has B11 and B12. So... I don't know. Let's let's look and see. Let's let's delete this. Let's let's delete that sheet, and let's come over here and let's define these. Well, there it is. Monthly payment. Let's hit OK, and let's name this cell. Well, there's total per month. Let's hit OK. Now let's go back to the scenario man the yeah the scenario manager, and let's hit summary again. And let's do a scenario summary, and it still has B11, B12 picked, and hit OK. And there it is. There it gives you the cost of everything, you know, the number of years, the, uh, the rate. And then look, monthly payment for each one, and total per month that I'll have to pay for each one. Okay, So, you know, there you go. So that's a neat little feature if you have several things you want to choose from. So uh, there'll be more videos to come. I'll do all the what if analysis. Uh, you can probably see here I've got scenario, well there's scenario goal seek, data table. I'm gonna do, I'll have videos of those, check those out. Uh, but I hope this helped. Uh, give me a like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.